Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen we used to check whether the view is null and if the view is null, then only we used to inflate the layout. Then finally, we used to return that particular layout as the part of get view implementation. In this way, we used to make sure that the view could be reused and we need not have to inflate the view again and again. But the problem with this implementation is this particular block of code, there is a still some scope for the optimization here. We we basically want to avoid invoking find view by id again and again and this can be achieved using a mechanism called as view holder design pattern and we shall see the implementation of how to use this view holder design pattern in base adapter to improve the overall performance of the get view method so let us get into a quick demo so now we will modify list adapter which is the implementation of base adapter as i told you we will be making use of a view holder pattern view holder pattern is nothing but a class which holds all these individual views that we have created to represent rows let me split the screen here this will become much more easy to explain so what i will create is i will create private static class and let me call it as person view holder and what this particular person view holder will do is it will hold these individual text views that we are inflating in the get view method so public text view text view name and in the same way i will hold text view last name text view gender and text view nationality so this particular class which is a private static class inside the base adapter will have the corresponding views that i want to inflate in this particular view it corresponds to these four individual text views in the get view method i will have a instance of person view holder but i will not initialize it if the view is null i will initialize the person view holder and then what i will do is person view holder dot text view name i will initialize it using this particular mechanism and we can initialize all the remaining text views if the view is null and then what we have to do is we have to set view dot set tag and pass this person holder as the argument set tag basically puts information associated with that particular view in the view so basically we will be avoiding this inflation again and again and next time if the view is not equal to null that is where the else part will come into picture in that case the tag would have already been set so we need not have to inflate this again and again so what we can do is person view holder get it from the tag and then we can just simply replace this with the person view holder dot text view name and we can continue to do this in this way we are invoking find view by id only once when view is equal to null every other time we are directly getting the person view holder and we are setting the values this once again improves the performance of our application so let me run this particular code so you can observe that now once again the size of view set has remained as it is and we are observing that no new views are getting inflated performance of this particular view holder based face adapter would be much more faster to understand this in a much more better way let me run this in the debug mode i will add the breakpoints here so if you observe when i run this only first time it will get into this place but every other time it will always come here and then continue with the initialization of the individual text views it will not do this initialization of person view holder again and again so let me run this you can observe that first time view is equal to null it goes inside and initializes the person holder sets the tag to the view then comes outside gets hold of the person that needs to be inflated then those individual text views are initialized then that view is returned and after this is done this view is never null so it will always go into this particular place where it does the get tag and through that it gets hold of the person view holder the person view holder will always get initialized through else branch so if i keep on doing this you will always observe that it will come to the else part and that is how you can avoid invoking find view by id again and again that is how you improve the performance of your base adapter 
adapter. Now the question is how improved the performance of this base adapter is. If you have around 10,000 views in your base adapter that you need to inflate uh, with the very dumb version where you were not doing even view is equal to null comparison frame per second that you can achieve is around 20 fps that is 20 frame per second but if you use view is equal to null comparison without view holder pattern then you will get nearly equal to 50 frame per second and if you use the view holder pattern then you almost get 55 to nearly 60 fps which is the very best frames per second that you can get it is always important that try to improve your code such that you always achieve highest frame per second in your application that is when the user will not experience lagged performance of your application this is perfectly fine now with this particular implementation you can use base adapter with the very highly improved performance but the problem is most of the people don't realize this and by default android doesn't provide this particular design pattern for you to use you as a developer have to implement this view holder design pattern and work with it and most of the people didn't realize this and it was a very common mistake in android whenever people were implementing the list view and even the list view implementation became quite complicated as people started making complicated individual row items in the list view so that is when with android lollipop version that is target version 22 onwards google introduced another type of implementing the list views which would allow you to automatically recycle the views you can pretty much make out why it was called as a recycler view it is recommended that you use recycler view instead of using base adapter base adapter is not deprecated you will still see quite a number of people using base adapter and there are still lot of legacy code which uses base adapter and that is the reason why i explained the base adapter and now when things become quite clear that what is the motivation for the recycler view in the next video we will see the implementation of recycler view itself stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye